Putting together your book proposal is a little bit like putting together a puzzle, and you might be wondering where a literary agent fits into that process. Today's video is all about this. Hi there, Jody Brandon of Jody Brandon Editorial here. I work with creative entrepreneurs, small business owners, solopreneurs, and bloggers who want to serve their business with a nonfiction book. And today we're talking about a literary agent and where that person fits into the publishing process. So if you're working with a literary agent, you've decided you want to be published traditionally by a publishing house, and you've done your homework and you've realized that the publishing house that you're interested in or the types of publishing houses that you're interested in require your manuscript to be submitted via a literary agent. So you now need to go out and find a literary agent who wants to represent your book. And so where in the process does this happen? It depends on the agent. Some agents want to see a full manuscript from you. Some of them you just need a proposal. So that means you'll need your table of contents, you'll need your outline, you'll need probably a couple of sample chapters, but you won't have to submit to them your full manuscript. Now the caveat with that is, let's say they fall in love with the proposal, they call you and they say, oh my gosh, I love this manuscript, please send, send me the rest of the manuscript so I can get it out to publishers as soon as possible. Well, if you've only written those two out of 12 chapters and they want to see a full manuscript in a couple of weeks, then you've gotten yourself into a pickle. So most nonfiction writers, at least in the genres for authors that I work with, they have their manuscript finished before they start querying literary agents. So while they're working on their manuscript, they're doing their research as far as publishers and literary agents who accept and represent the kinds of books that they're doing. So they're, you know, spending half of their time with their author hat on and the other half of their time with their, you know, business person hat on. Because the literary agent is the business person middleman for your book. So you need to focus on the idea and then creating a compelling proposal for that literary agent. But the literary agent then is going to create a compelling proposal, a business proposal for a publishing house. The literary agent's job is to sell your book to the publisher. Not just the content of your book, the idea, but also the fact that your book is going to sell well. It's going to make money for everyone. It's going to make money for the publishing house. It's going to make money for the literary agent. It's going to make money for you. But the way to do that is to have the business mindset. So the literary agent is, of course, concerned about your manuscript being well-written, well-structured, well-thought-out, well-planned out, well-researched, well all of those things. But they also need to come at it from the business perspective because that's their job, is to sell that idea, that book, and you to the publishing house. So you need to be working on your book but also thinking about what kinds of publishing houses and what kinds of literary agents you want to reach out to. The great news is that in today's world, everybody has a website and everybody's website includes their submission instructions. So you'll know from the get-go, do they want the full proposal? Do they want just a few chapters? Do they want just a synopsis? Do they want the table of contents, the introduction, and three chapters? Do they want the table of contents, and the introduction. Do they want an annotated table of contents and the introduction and maybe a couple of sample chapters? So you'll know all of that based on who you want to work with. So that's where they fit into the process and the how you work with them is a different video for a different day. But for today, what you need to be most concerned with is you know you want to work with a publishing house, so you know you need a literary agent, and now you know how that person fits into the process and where along the way you need to start looking for one. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I would love if you subscribe to the channel for more writing and publishing tips. Give this video a thumbs up, and until next time, 